Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Innkeeper, and today I'm going to be playing some shopkeep or shoppy keep if you are an imbecile like me. Ooh, changing things around just a smidge bit, that's fine. Everything is fine, I'm not going to change everything. We are still going to sell goods, like these shields right here, and hair care products, and swords. I know it's a little bit of sort of a, a middle industry right here. I mean, we are branching out in several directions. We started, us, we started off as a salon. And now we're a weaponsmith. Bit of a jump, actually. <laughs> but that's fine. We'll ignore that for today. Once again, just sort of saying that's fine is my transition. I should really stop doing that. I've already done it twice already. Hello! We should start selling some stuff before we start doing that. However, let's see how many points we have accumulated. Okay, not as much as I was expecting, to be honest with you. We've got 37. And now I'm hiccuping a lot. Ing, ing, ing. Hiccup ing, ing, ing a lot. I sure I think I bought something. Oh right, I bought the druid upgrade. Okay, then. so now we have got druids coming in, and rogues apparently, druids and rogues, and I guess tier one. So we can do the glove quests now, surely. Do we still not have all the gloves? I guess not. Okay, that's a little bit of a shame. What quests do we have? That's a good idea. That's a good thought actually. Hmm, we can't do this one just yet unless we get level two on the warrior. And we can't do any of these. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Okay, so there's none of them that are appealing because, well, we can't do anything at all. So we're just going to have to wait until a day goes by or something like that. Or I could just load back in. It's probably a good idea. We should do that. Of course, the game's probably going to crash now. Let's just see what we've got right here. Let's load back in because it takes long enough for us to get more points. And I've returned. What's better right now? The Out of Mana quest, which gives us 85 points upon completion. However, we have to sell a large number of products. Or, we go for the Prepare for Winter quest, because of course winter is coming. Which will give us 25 points for successfully selling 10 Frost Potions. Potions to people. I don't really know. I think the, the Mana quest is a little bit more difficult. Well, I say a little bit more. I mean, significantly more difficult. But does that difficulty outweigh the reward that we will get in comparison? Because really, it's not that much more. Well, okay. It's quite a lot more. Hmm. Ah, bugger it. So, <laughs> there's quite a high chance that maybe mana potions will be very hot on one of the evenings and that will give us the ability to sell quite a significant amount of them so we're going to buy do we want to buy as many as we can we'll buy 30 for now since it's probably going to take us a little while to actually sell all these mana potions we are going to start the day now as well also that cut that i had right then i just sort of stopped thinking as i cut i just thought you know i just cut here because i i can't think of anything <laughs> so it was a bit weird probably a little bit sudden as well oh we have the portal now as well which is even fan even more fantastic although it is orange little bit annoying okay we've upgraded to arctic plus now which means that we get our you know our deliveries very quickly so that's nice we're going to plonk these potions that potions down i'm saying potions a lot right now it's quite poetic <laughs> Oh, ho, ho. anyway, sounded a little bit like Adam Partridge right there. That's fine. Most of you probably don't know who that is. That's all good. Hello. Welcome. Well, this is a legitimate welcome to the video. You know, video thing box. I'm stuck in this box. Help me out. I've got free hands. There we, go. there we go. Still a bug. That is just fantastic. Not Actually, no. Necessarily. Not necessarily. Wait, what? No. I mean, no. Essentially, I have five hands because you've got to count these two right here. And actually... One of them's is... Oh, wait, no. Oh, no, one of them kind of is a third hand because one of them takes you to orders instead. And actually, you've got these two here right right there as well. So we have seven hands. What else do we have? <laughs> we have quite a few hands, apparently. Very useful in certain situations. You are very welcome, good sir. Very, you've got the same shirt as me as well. In fact, we look pretty much identical. Other than the fact that I've got untextured weaponry on me. Do you want to see what it looks like? I'll broom you in the face! Someone said that there are items to be bought in the customization screen in the menu. I'm aware of this. I've done this in the past. It's fine. Welcome to the channel, by the way. Just, you know, just say welcome. Hi, how you doing? It's Christmas, apparently. I'm very, very late. Or, actually, very early. Because Christmas was last year. 
Right, get it? Funny, because last year actually wasn't that long ago. But, you know, you say last year because... Ha 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 ha! Funny! So many people make that joke. And as you could probably tell, I'm sick of it. Actually, no, they bought a health pot. Potion, my bad. So we're just going to plonk some more of those down, clean up the dirty floor, and you're going to buy another health potion. Apparently health pots are in this season, which is of cheer, I might add. And we should just double check all of these. Yeah, nothing of value right now. So we've just got 288 pounds, or gold even. And we're just going to... I wish they were pounds, but they're not. 300 gold now, which I guess actually would be more. You know, I, I imagine the conversion of a gold coin is significantly more than that of the pound sterling. So we're fine. Look at you. Is this my father or me? I think I've had this discussion in the past. I do like how his beard is just significantly more bordered than his entire face. It's just a bit weird to me. His face looks like it uses some sort of smoothness conditioner, maybe some sort of moisturization cream, but his... Beard just uses nothing. Nothing. It's also uneven. I've just noticed this now. I'm probably gonna lose myself now. Did you actually buy that potion? Well, there's one way to find out. There you did. Okay. I was really sort of looking for a reason to just cut your legs off and then feed you to the dogs of which you are a dog. Offerings available. <laughs> and then you just see his head there. That's what I would do. I would offer his head on a spike. Right there, all the partridge references right now. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit overwhelmed, to be honest. What's that up there? Is that a honeycomb? <laughs> it looks like there's a jewel or something up there. Or some sort of honeycomb. Like, I could... That would be great if I could hammer these doors in. We shouldn't really go far away from our shop. This town is notorious for thievery. They just can't stop stealing stuff. It's ridiculous. Not only that, but also ghostly present gifting. Why is there a ghost present here? I don't get the reference. 11.2 gold. So do what? what's the point two in the gold there? Do you cut the gold into two tenths or two fifths or two... Oh, it'll be two tenths of a piece. Is that what you do? Or do you just give me two silvers? Are there silvers in this? I've not really been given that point two gold extra, to be honest. As you can see in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, I've been given 322 gold. Not 300... And 22.2 gold, which means I was robbed. They robbed me in broad daylight. I want my money back. Steve, you better buy something. Your actually name is, uh, is that a Dima? I can't see because my curse is in the way. I think, yeah, that's an M. Okay, so Dima Jackman. Good, good. You enjoy that potion, you slimy bastard. Anyway, just unnecessarily swearing at my loyal customers. Loyal, right? You haven't even got a name. How can I trust you? Mervyn's furious right now. I came in this morning back from work and he was like, and I was like, why am I making these noises? Once again, you know, playing shoppy keep, shopkeep, wait, other way around, no, shopkeep or shoppy keep if you're like me, for some reason makes me incredibly excited for a limited time only. Then, of course, I get just like hopelessly depressed because I'm realized that I'm living in some sort of dystopian society. Where people are just stealing shit all the time. And then I go and I cry myself to sleep. It's great. After every single game of Shopkeep. Or Shopkeep, even they like me. It's just pure tears. Pure, pure. <clears throat> Once again, what's the point to? I should be at 344 pounds again. Gold. And 4 silver. Or 0.4 gold. 0.4. 4, I mean, it'd be given sort of... Four nuggets of gold. I probably got them in my pocket. Something like that. And those nuggets are probably actually bigger than the gold coins, to be honest with you. So, really, it's going pretty well for me. Tell you what, though, this needs a little bit of work. I don't know why them picking up weapons from the stall cracks and, like, breaks everything. It just doesn't make sense to me. Let's just do some smithing as well. God, it'd be really good if they added that as a feature. There's a, a pretty cool game called Jacksmith. It's on, uh, oh... Yeah, that shield didn't help you, did it? Yeah, there's like a cool little Flash game. Well, I mean, I played it on, a, you know, like the old Flash websites, that kind of thing. And also, you know, oh my god. I remember playing all those kind of stuff when I was in school, actually. That was pretty neat. We had a day where it was just IT all the time. Well, it was IT all day. So, I got lucky in the way that that worked out. 
Um, the teacher was incompetent, but that's fine. We <laughs> nearly failed it because of his incompetence. That's all right, though. He was going through some horrible stuff. Okay, story time, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> story time, okay. So there's a lot. It's not really that big of a story, actually, to be honest with you. So we got, um, you know, all the normal teachers here and there. You got your geography, your maths, and your English, blah, 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 blah. I imagine most people watching right now have been to school. Have you? Did you buy that? No, you didn't. Okay, didn't think so. Let's just clean up this right here. Okay, so obviously naming no names. We have a French teacher. A, I think she was an English teacher. I actually don't know. Or maybe she was a religious education teacher. Probably was. Um, RE teacher, I suppose. My God! Ruining my story. And then we've got the IT guy slash... I'm sure he, he sort of substituted randomly, but mostly he was doing the IT stuff. So he was married to the RE teacher for, I think, two years or something like that. And I think they met at the school and all that stuff was happening. I think so anyway. That's what I know for the most part. But there was rumors going around of a bit of an affair going on. And we later found out that actually the teacher was having an affair with the female French teacher. Quite fantastic. Um, you know, it's fine. I've got nothing against lesbians, that kind of thing, I'm just saying. But, at the time, juicy stuff. You know what I mean? Very interesting. And obviously this affected our grades, because the guy looked like shit for the remainder of the years that he was working there. And that, my friends, is the story of how not to take work emotionally. <laughs> There we go, because it nearly fucked up a group of kids' IT careers. Anyway, that's my story for today. Uh, you know, there's a moral to the story, obviously. I just said it right then. Quite interesting, though. Very small story. Obviously, I did say it was a very small story. It wasn't too filled. It's just very, very interesting, I find. Very, at least, obviously, there was the rumours at the time. None of this was completely whack, and it was kind of confirmed a little bit. And it's not, I'm not going to lie about the situation. It was kind of confirmed, but still, you know... We'll call it rumors for the time being, just to make it a little bit more spicy. I feel like that does make it more spicy. Something that's not confirmed. You know, you feel like there's a secret involved there and you're in on it. That kind of thing. Not anymore, of course. Which is, you know, got to be respectful and all that. I think I feel sorry for the guy. Um, but, you know, it's just, just how it is. Shame it had to happen the way it was. Um, it's actually, extreme shame. There we are. Cheating is cheating at the end of the day. That's what it was, and... Hopefully, they're better off for it, and I hope they're doing well now, both of them. All of them, in fact. There we are. Fantastic, actually. Very good. I like it. I actually don't know if they're working at that school no more. I hated that school. Did I tell you that? <laughs> no, I tell you that. Fuck! There we are. Fantastic. Anyway. I say I hated that school. I didn't really hate it. I, yeah, I was neutral, I think, is a better word for it. Didn't like geography. My god. The teacher would always ask. <laughs> like, oh, what is this? And I'm like, shit. <laughs> I'm an idiot. And then they would ask the person next to me what that is, and I knew what that was. Oh, fuck you then. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just... I don't know. Oh, my, just completely done with education at the moment. My fucking word. This is just absurd. Yeah, I'm gonna just uh, brush up. It's fine though, college afterwards was pretty good. I actually quite like college. Nice and easy, I would say. A lot more freedom involved there. College as in the thing between uh, secondary and university, I suppose. Well, uh, between uh, sixth form. I think it's sixth form. And university. Yeah. So that's what that was, anyway. Not American. I think that, that's what American college is, right? Anyway, I'm not too sure, actually. I get a bit confused, because... To, I think Americans have universities as well, but I'm not too sure if the college is below it. I've been told this before. That's the annoying thing. Icarus, someone that we uh, live stream with, I think has told us this in the past, and I've just forgot about it when we're talking about how schools work within our particular parts of the world. I think so anyway. Yeah. Something. Anyway, I think college is the same kind of, but valued differently. I think that's definitely what, I think, yeah, that, that for me, that that's what's coming through my head right now. It's valued a bit differently. So that's fine. 
Anyway, sorry, I've been going a little bit mad right here. I've not really been playing the game. I've just been talking at this point. Let's go over here and see what's up. No, not really too crazy right now. We're going to make sure to finish this before I finish today. That's how long it's probably going to take. Let's see. No, I can't really do much right now. We can just keep selling random bits and bobs here and there while we're also selling all these potions. Potions. <laughs> Come on. Potion seller, <laughs> I require one of your strongest potions. <laughs> That's really weird. I remember watching that for the first time and just completely losing my shit. I think I might have been a little bit intoxicated at the same time, which made it even better. But actually, no, it didn't. The second time round made it just a bit funnier because, you know, you got your cognitive abilities, you got it back, and you're thinking to yourself, instead of being in the moment, not really questioning the actions, you know, more aware and it makes it just that more hilarious because you're just like someone for some reason did this at one point in their life because they thought it was funny and you know what they're right it was funny it was very funny <laughs> in just the, the weirdest way and especially when they start breaking up at one point they just like go just start holding back them la those laughs that makes me laugh more that kind of stuff when people are just laughing like, like trying to hold back a laugh same with just normal laughing as well you know what you know you want to get that uh contagious laughter out there usually the best form of laughter everyone's happy you know contagious happiness you could call it happy thoughts contagious happy thoughts hmm <laughs> that might mean something else actually <laughs> the music went off then like what are you what are you saying <laughs> hey <laughs> go on and slam anyway <laughs> right let's just uh, clean up the floor <laughs> That guy did get dunked though. Let's not let's not lie about that. We need to purchase the anti theft mobile, and by that I mean the thing that makes people stop stealing our stuff. Let's see. Oh, we've already got that. Oh wow. Okay. Think again. Thieves before stealing will think think once more about that decision. I think we want to keep the money that we have right now so we can upgrade to the next level of knight. 120 points isn't that bad, and I think that's a good idea. Now we get the next level, it means that we can access more stuff, and it means we can get other quests which are going to be easier to complete. Minute catch! Got ya. Of course that guy's running off. That's right, get scared. I nearly hit him in the, the face. Actually, I'm pretty sure he had hair a second ago, and now it's gone. So, you know, come to our salon! Oh, you can't now, you have no hair. Actually, that's shampoo, or is that conditioner? I think the man is conditioner. I'm starting to forget the kind of products that I'm offering here. Bit of a shame, actually, Advanced Free. Tell you what, though, you, sir, do not need that with your luscious toupee. I'm, I, yeah, I know. I'm aware of it. Anyway, <laughs> just clean up right there. We really need someone to come in with sort of some sort of court wig of some form. I think that would be quite interesting. <laughs> there we go. I got a keen eye these days when it comes to sort of anti thief software. I'm feeling good about this. Of course, the anti thief software. The name of my new tech album. Eddie Thief Software. And then it goes... Anyway. I don't know. There's some sort of bass drop in there. Just leave me alone. There's something going on. Before we purchase our items, let us wait until they leave the domain of the city. And then we'll find out what the highest items for the next day will be. Let's make sure we clean up a little bit as well. This seems to be okay, unless there's a sword that sort of slid down the back right there. Or it was stolen, I actually don't know. We've got a significant amount of money on the board, though. Let's see, health potions, not exactly what I was hoping for. Um, maybe we can get the health potions in the mix, and maybe they'll buy a, a mana potion while they're at it. So if we get a few of them, let's buy two more of the, the mana, mana potions as well. Mage hoods, leather trousers, wood shoulders. Do we have any of these things? No. No, we do not. I guess we'll just buy a bunch of random stuff then. There we are. Fantastic. We are going to start the day now just so they can actually get here quickly. There we are. Day 12. Welcome to Shopland. Actually, what is the name of our shop? We were the Grey Keepers. Now I guess we're the, the Snow Keepers. That's it. Yeah, I remember renaming the series to the Snow Keepers. So this is the Snow Keeper. We don't keep snow. People keep coming in thinking that we're actually going to get rid of snow on their driveways. But that's not what we're going to do. It's a shame. I couldn't change the name. They wouldn't let me for some reason. 
uh, here we are, I don't know, something about copyright infringements or whatever, I don't know. No, I, oh well, I, I did try to to change it to um, DFS. <laughs> no, <laughs> what would it be if it was DFS? I mean, there isn't a sale on, and actually, we are the opposite of DFS. Okay, we're the SFD. So, <laughs> SFD, go on the ground! <laughs> what would the SFD mean? <laughs> The SFD doesn't does sound like an anti-terrorist unit. <laughs> okay, we are the S SFD. Um, it's part of the law now, SFD. Um, what would it stand for? Secret... I mean, it would just be sort of secret federal defense or something like that. Something very simple. SFD, go to the ground! That's what they do every single time. What they actually mean is freeze. I, I just realized I'm going back and forth here. Um, what are we doing right now? I don't know. Hmm, bit weird. Okay, so I'm so SFD go to the ground. Okay, no, he's fine. He knew it. He knew. He's aware the SFD is in the area. Of course, it does also now sound like more of a sexual disease. Uh, uh, why does every acronym to me sound like it's some sort of sexual disease? Maybe it's because I've got a filthy mind. Maybe that's really it. Very immature. Immature. Sorry. SFD go to the ground. <laughs> there we go. He's on the ground. Stay there, sir. 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 Sir, sir, get up, get up, breathe, breathe. Okay, he's up, good. Your skull is so weird. <laughs> Just realize this. Oh, wait, keep keep him up. Oh, cook him. I thought I was killed someone then. Okay, let's clean up the floor, dirty floor. Let's get the SFD cleanup division in there. Come on, clean up. No, no, okay. You just touched the body. I'm pretty sure you are now an accomplice. <laughs> To a crime that was committed today, not by the SFD though. That is a complete lie. SFD, go on the ground! Okay, go on the ground. Sir, sir, stay there. Fuck. <laughs> that is uh, a pain in the neck. Anyway, God, that hurt a bit. Uh, really didn't. It's fine. I'm not really sure why that was really a budum ch. It's just that people say, oh, real pain in my neck. You know, like, oh, they're annoyed. That's a pain in my neck. Instead of a pain in my ass. You know, you want to be a little bit less. Groovy. <laughs> why, why did Groovy come up? I don't know. Let's get rid of some of these potions and replace them with health potions. There we are. I might bring them over here and sort of be like, Oh, this is nice. And then they'll feel like, Oh, yeah. Whoa! SFD, go to the ground! Okay. Counter terrorist measures! Oh, bollocks. Well, SFD failed today. Well, kind of. We did kill. Whoa! Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, innocent. Okay, great. You're the guy. Get him. Someone stole our shit. Oh, no, you didn't. I'm leaving the shop. Why run? Well, I killed someone else. I'm not proud of it. Where'd the body go? Oh, it's over there. Okay, well, clean up the floor. Actually, actually get your sword first. Or my sword. My sword. Good. I'm sorry, SFD counter-terrorist unit failed a little bit today. Let's just uh, clean up the dirty floor. Cobblestone is really weird. In this patch, why does it look odd? Is it because of the window? Am I going insane? There's like some zigzag thing going on. You can see the box and the outline around it. Why? Why? It actually goes across there. I'm probably missing people stealing my stuff right now. How many of these are there? Is that one? No. I, I assume it's... That's still one off the ground? I thought they fixed that. Okay, maybe not. Uh, maybe it's reflection? I don't know. Doesn't matter, but it just seems a bit odd. Like, just out of place. Oh well. Let's see how my shop is doing. Oh, great! <laughs> that shit smeared all over the walls. And there's a health potion that's just been <laughs> somehow lodged into the wood. Great. This is all coming up in Keeper, apparently. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Cleaning up the dirty floor. <clears throat> Excuse me. Very sorry about that. How are we doing right now? God, mate. Not, not great at all, to be honest. Really bad. Okay, let's see if we can get any uh, mana potions. Well, we can sell some basic ones to get our economy back up. That's right. We're an economy now. Ones are a lot more expensive than I was anticipating. Alright, let's clean them more of the floor up. Um, finances is actually the word I was looking for, not economy. That's sort of more of a grander scale, really. Come on. 
and you know about more things, a, a lot more, you know, than just my personal finances. Uh, anyway, I'm not sure why I had to say it like that. It was a bit unnecessary, to be honest with you. Let's make sure we sell these at a slightly sort of more royalty price. There we are. We've got to make sure they're a little bit more right there. Oh, bought that instantly. Okay, we can actually sell lots of these ones, I think, and get like a decent price on them. How are we doing on the old points right now? We've had quite a few so far. 68 still. Okay, maybe not. I'm not sure where the random points come from. It seems a bit weird. Maybe we get a little bit extra every time we log in. Can I just points farm then? Surely I could. Did you buy two of them? I really hope you did, sir, because that would have been amazing. If you didn't, though, I'm fine with it. I'm not too sure why everyone's buying point whatever extra. Shoppy, shoppy, or shopping. Yes, yeah, said shopping. I was saying shoppy there. It's fine. Like an idiot like me, right? Oh, he bought that one. That's good to see. So I'm going to buy two more of those ones. No, not double. No, I'm going to double tap those ones. There we are. More cleaning to be done. Oh, they're backing off. They're like, nope. These deals are gratuitous. Come on. No, I'm just very excited right now. I'm waiting for my deal. You know, the new latest uh, Call of Duty is coming out or something like that. I don't pay Call of Duty. Uh, but still, you know, Call of Duty, that kind of thing. You know, oh, nothing against people that play Call of Duty. It's just, um, I mean, it is the same thing over and over again. Let's be honest with ourselves. But, you know, if that's what you enjoy and you just want a slightly updated version, slightly updated version, just want to specify that word there, slightly, um, you know, that's, you know, fine. I'm not going to judge. But I probably will be like... <laughs> I probably will just say that to maybe just take a little bit of fun. Little bit of fun. Bit of bants, man. That kind of thing. You know what the kids say these days, this day and age. Bit of bants. It's all fine. Bants. Cheeky things. Something about cheekiness. I don't know. Someone bought that one immediately, which is great. And that... Oh, wow. That was a that was really good right there. Let's clean the floor up a little bit more. Just threw that potion in midair. That was actually pretty sweet. Oh, okay. Let's make sure we repair this. There we are. I've always said the best way to repair someone is to just hammer at it repeatedly until it starts working. I do that with my computer all the time. There's actually a little bit of a dent right now, which is, um, you know, not actually the case. I'm not that. I'm not the kind of person that's going to just ridiculously hit their computer unless, of course, I have a tantrum. Uh, like when I was seven. Um, actually, not seven. Eleven. No, I was old. Okay, I got annoyed because my internet cut out for like the 20th time. 20 millionth time. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. My internet connection back in the day. Back in the day was pretty bad. Just plonk these down right here. And I got frustrated because it cut out at least five times a day. And that proceeded until November 2014 when I got the fiber optic. Which is really good. And I'm still not used to it. Not gonna lie. Whoa. Same with these 60 frames. Actually, I'm not recording at 60 frames right now. Slightly, uh, slightly under. That's a bit weird. I'm sort of sitting around 50 right now. What am I at? There's no way this computer should be struggling to play this game at 60. I think that this thing is perhaps his problem. At, at recording. I could record this at 120 without at any drops. So I think Fraps is having a little bit of trouble today. I should probably up it by maybe 70 instead. But then I get a bigger file and maybe there'll be a little bit of problems when it comes to sort of downgrading it to 60 FPS in post processing there usually is a bit tearing so maybe not we'll just leave it for now look at all these people so busy thank you thank you for your business I guess we'll plonk some more potions down and sell them some more ones the ones are actually very good to sell in conjunction with the mana potions because their mages are going to predominantly buy them Oh no! Okay. Damn it. The day ran out. That's a bit annoying, but oh well. Oh, not the day, but the phase ran out. So hopefully ones are still popular. Or better yet, the mana potions are still popular. Well, we're nearly halfway through already. I think the uh, the ones have really helped that out Helped out with that, though. Oh, wow. Selling so many of them. Quickly! There we go. Um, we'll grab, like, two of them right here and place the ones down. There we are. We can actually place a few more of them down. Uh, now we'll hold on to the rest. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Right there. Beautiful. Okay, let's see what's popular today. Weed. 
Health potions from druids. Okay. Not something I care too much for. Thank you for your services. Well, my services. Thank you for your thing. I leveled up again. Level 13. Okay, wait. Oh, I saw that in the corner of my eye. There was a shadow there. And I knew that I was about to... De I should not have done that. You should not have died instantly. Let's have to go to the ground. Right, anyway, I'm surprised I still remember that, to be honest with you. I know it was only fi 15 minutes ago or something like that, but I've got a terrible memory. So, for me to have to come up and reference something that happened 15 minutes ago, I feel proud, to be honest with you. I'm very happy about that. Let's do some more cleaning. I burped a bit there. Oh. You should, you should be doing well, sir. You should be nice and happy. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your life. You're looking uh, pretty fancy with that sword there, my friend. How are we doing right now? 45 out of 80. Not too crazy right now. We've probably got like two more days, I would say, of selling mana potions. Unless, of course, we get very lucky. And they start to buy mana up the wazoo. I guess we should probably sell these. Oh, okay. It's actually quite a nice look. But we will not be selling that for the time being. Since a bunch of druids want to buy these potions, we may as well sell them in coordination with the mana ones. Yeah, we'll buy 10 more of those. Thank you very much. Your money is always helpful to the cause. Wherever that cause may be. Now I'm just waiting for my uh, package from Arctic Plus. Oh, come on! <laughs> it was waiting for me or something. It doesn't usually take that long. I wanted it to land on my head. Hello? Do you want a one? I don't like the... Okay. I thought you'd just take it and run off. That would have been really frustrating. And he would be like, Oh, no, you can't kill him because he's... he's." I was going to say maintenance then. He's civilian, innocent guy. You know, you can't do that. And it's a battle of law. That kind of thing. Do you want to buy that sword? It's been there for days. I shouldn't have done that. No, you shouldn't have. Have you not learned... About the SFD and their surveillance techniques. They're looking at you from all angles. All of them. They know your password, your phone numbers. They even in, conju in, in conjunction with the um, ASN. You know, you got to be careful with the ASN as well. Their surveillance company. <laughs> now, I'm just, now I'm just like popping all the acronyms backwards. That's what I'm doing. What? Oh, God, Dad, this is a long one. I can't do this one. This one's got a K in it. For some reason, going backwards with Ks makes me very confused. <laughs> I don't know why. Cs and Ks, like there, I just find them confusing. Uh, Js and Gs, I find them very confusing as well. What else do I find confusing? M and Ns. No, not M and Ms. M and Ns. <laughs> there we go. Find them odd, like when you combine them together. So, just horrible, horrible things. This is a mess. There we are. Let's put this together. Bonk. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, that one as well. Quickly, put it back up.